Go on, Sam. Go on. Three. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? So last week, this week and last week, I've been absolutely, just leaving the old yard, I've been absolutely balmy couple of weeks. I've sold nearly every car that I've got. Um, the Honda Jazz is gone, the BMX 3 is gone, the 330D E92 is gone, the A6 Avant Black Edition is gone. It's, it's been mental, good mental, but balmy mental at the same time. <laughs> when you're as small a business and insignificant as what I am, you have like a, a good week and then or a good couple of weeks and then you've got no cars left because when you sell a car, when it's only you, you do all of the running around if you haven't done it before, getting it serviced, getting it MOT, re-cleaning it, getting the wheels done if you haven't done them already. What it is, you seem to spend all your time doing that and you don't replace the stock that you've sold. And now that is the exact position that I'm in now. It's Thursday, the auction near me, which is Colchester Auction, which is our, which on a Thursday night is sort of known as more of like a more of like a banger night, if you will. It's more it's I mean it's more old, slightly older, higher mile type stuff. There isn't a lot of lovely cars, I suppose, but. I have picked out the odd lovely car out of a Thursday night. So I've been so busy um, that I haven't even had a chance to look at the catalogues for tonight's auction, which I know is horrendous. I know that, and I know I shouldn't admit that. So what I'm going to do, my other half's just come home from work and we've tag teamed the kids. Um, so she's now looking after it. So I've got a couple of hours to get over to Colchester, have a little look around, and see if, do you know what, even if I buy one car, I'm fine with that. So I've got the Blue X1 that was part exchange, that's what we're in right now. I've got to get this prepped for sale. Um, I've also got, the Scirocco's finished actually, uh, that's up for sale now. Um, I've still got a little, <laughs> I bought a little Suzuki Ignis foregrip a while ago, just as a cheap car. So you've done 46 odd thousand miles. Just a, they're funny little cars, but someone will want that car. I haven't even had a chance to get on to preparing that one yet, but that is where we're that is where we're at at the moment. So we'll quickly nip over to, to Colchester Auction and see if uh, I'll see if I can do a bit of filming, see what's about. We'll go up and down the lines of cars and see if there's anything that sort of tickles our fancy. But um, other than that, we'll have a look and see if we can do a little bit of a little bit of filming in the in the lanes. And uh, I mean, it's not going to be the best film because I'll probably just have to do it sort of. I had an idea. I thought, what about if I just get like a GoPro and strap it to my chest inside my jacket, just poking out and then do some filming in the in the lanes? I don't know. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to have to give that a go. I feel like I need a GoPro more and more every day. But um, we'll uh, we'll get on the way and then and then we'll have a look and see what's about. So I'll see you there in a bit. Here we are, Colchester Man Iron Auctions. We'll go get signed in, and then we'll have a look through the lanes. So here we are, people, walking up the lanes to see if anything grabs our fancy. Because I haven't had time to look what's actually going through. So, all I, really need, all I really need is one car to ST there. Green calipers, I'm not sure about the green calipers. Or the green badge actually. Put me off straight away. Tiguan looks all right. 117. EML, EML light stays on. No, thank you very much. Don't need that. Oh, the cars are going through already. On the Civic, up on the Civic. Um, Clark. Thank you. 
A class. No sticker in there. ST230 there. Oh, look at them wheels. That sounds very poorly. To you because this place is a UK first. Oh, there's people walking everywhere. So we'll come back in a minute. I'm not doing very well here, people. Fiat 500, I'd get excited about that. No, can't. No, I need everything. Ooh. Mitchell and Tyre. 59 plate cash coin. It's not a plus two. How many miles is that done? One owner, nine services, two litre petrol. Done 72 almost. It's in a centre, it's a bad spec one, but it has got Richard and tyres which has stopped me in my tracks. Oh dear. It's got a big scratch already. That's actually nowhere near as bad as what that focus was, that scratch. Paint is thin on these, but that might actually come out. Very uninteresting spec, but it has got Mitchell and tyres all round, cross climates all round. Who puts, who puts Mitchell and Mitchell and cross climates on a 50 mile plate cash kai? Tailgate handle has been replaced. What a shocker! That might just be the best stroke, worse repair for a Nissan Qashqai boot trim I've ever seen. I mean, I know that's such a... How many Nissan Qashqais have you guys seen with that boot trim hanging off or just no trim at all or it's usually held on with masking tape or duct tape or half hanging off because someone's put it on with sellotape or something. But that one, that's a good effort, that one. <laughs> The more you look around the car, the more people get interested. I'm going to have to stop filming. A bit of wear on the driver's seat, that's a shame. A bit of a bird poo mark on the roof. Oh, support the lifeboats. That's mega. Who doesn't want to support the lifeboats? Of course we do. Do you know what? I'm going to watch this go through. The problem is there'll be no profit in this because just the margins on cash cars are tiny. And there's a two litre petrol, so no one's going to want it because it's a bit juicy, but I haven't got any stock at the moment. It might be alright. Well, I've been around the whole of the auction, and the only thing that I'll be interested in is that cash coin. And that is a very, very small amount of interest because I can't get excited about it, but I've got nothing at all to sell. So we'll watch that cash coin go through in a sec and see how we get on. Excellent, <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, that's it, people. We won it. We own it. It's a bit late now. <laughs> I tell you what, I hope them scratches come out because if they. Ugh. Go on, Sam. Go on. We <laughs> get out of there. I hope them scratches come out, but we'll see. It'll be part of the journey now. Oh, I've got to get out of here. I don't smoke as bad as that. <laughs> well, I paid for it. Got my keys. Take that off then. Oh, central lock and work. It's a good start. It's a good start, people. Hurrah! Wow. Oh, the ignition lock's good. It's not all floppy like they normally are. Oh, it sounds lovely. It's very quiet. Let's have a quick look at the good stuff. God, that's heavy. Man, and them hinges gonna need a little bit of lubrication. Well, that alternator sounds noisy to me. I'll have to look into that. Well, that's a funny noise. Didn't say anything about that on the report. Engine. All passed. Sounds like a noisy alternator to me. So I've just driven the cash Kai just out of the auction just to get in the X1. Because what I've actually got to do, I've actually got to leave this here tonight and take the X1 home because I'm here by myself and I'll come back tomorrow with my old man just to pick it up. I think. Looks alright almost in the dark, doesn't it? It's still making that squeaking noise. So, let's see. There it goes. We'll have to look into that. Potentially might have to make a claim on the shore check because it says, as you can see, all engine noise has passed. But we'll come back tomorrow and get it and drive it home. See what it drives like. Drove really well just from just from over there to here. It's really quiet actually. And then uh, we'll look into it a bit further. Well, that's the next day, people. We're back at the Cash Koi. I'll do it. Put my trade plates in. Oh, mats! Oh, I love a set of mats. Oh, Cash Koi mats. That's what we like. We'll just put the trade plates back in and then uh, we'll get going. Ooh, yay, we're in. Oh, it sounds lovely. I just had to jump start a car for someone. I bought my little jump pack, but I bought a one owner cash car. I know that ain't gonna need jump starting. Bless it. Oh, it's got folding mirrors. Oh, they work. Of course they do. do you know, the spec on this car isn't as bad as what I thought. It's got climate. It's got cruise. It's got Bluetooth phone. It's got folding mirrors. What else do you need? And it sounds like a milk float. <laughs> Perfect. 
tray plates are in. Off we go. 32 miles range. Well, that'll actually get home, but we'll probably stop her. Blimey. It's just quiet, this car. You can't even hear the engine running. So, oh, the clutch is solid. I'd already tried the clutch before I even bought the car. Make sure it wasn't biting high. Make sure someone hadn't traded it in because the clutch was burnt out or something like that. And we're all six speed, so we're off. When you when you buy a car, so you're already worrying what's wrong with it. It's, 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 I've been doing this 10 years now. It never gets any better. Every time you buy a car, straight away, why has someone traded it in? It's, but when you buy a one-owner car that is this old, straight away, you can pretty much assume... <laughs> yeah, right, don't assume, ever. Look at that old bike, look. This old pre-65 motocross bike scrambler um straight away you can assume they've probably traded this in because they've had it forever and they just wanted something else so it already drives lovely it's it's quiet just like a jack see it's an old gt40 so this car it goes all right because it's a two liter was never going to set the world on fire you know so i bought this the other night you saw me buy it and just driving it from the auction hall to the car park, it ain't no X1. They're not, you know, they, they don't drive like a German car. They don't. They're not exciting. They're not built with robustness in mind. Let's, let's sort of say it like that. They're, they're light to drive. You don't get any feedback from the steering. The clutch is light. The steering's light. They're not... I mean, they're not loud inside by any means, but they're not German. But you you don't pay a, a premium price for a cash kai compared to something German of the same sort of age. Now, I mean, this is going to be a sub five grand car. It's a one owner, Michelin tires all round, full Nissan history. I'll show you the history when we get back. Amazing history with it. Um, chain driven car, so you've got no cam belts and everything to worry about. I already knew that before I bought it. But there's no, there's no doubt that it will have its place in its market. Obviously, being petrol, it will be ULES compliant. So someone in London is going to be looking for this car. Everyone in London over the next few months is going to be looking for a petrol car. Because when that ULES compliant, a load of people out on their road bikes, it's a good day for a road bike. Um, when that ULES compliant thing in August actually comes in, and there's going to be a lot of people that are running diesels that are going to be flapping, buying petrols left, right and centre. And this will probably sell to someone who is going to be one of them people living within the M25 circular. Who knows? I don't know. But it's, a, it's already a nice car. If I can make the outside of this match, the ownership and the history and everything, then you're in for a winner on this car. It's a nice car. Who's going to buy this car? Same sort of people that would be looking for a Ford Focus or that sort of market. It's a bit higher up than a Ford Focus or already driving along. I already feel a little bit, you feel a little bit safer in a higher up car, even if it's potentially not. But it's just a nicer place to be a little bit higher up than getting down into a car and struggling to get out. You know, SUVs sell well now because of that, because people like being a bit higher up. Um, it's black, good colour, straight away. Hasn't got leather, but that ain't going to matter on a car of this sort of value. It's got cruise, which a lot of people like with when you get into speed limits and stuff, and you can just slap the cruise on and know that you're not creeping over that speed limit. So it's got air con. Let's see if the air con works whilst we're going along. Put that down. It's quite hard to... So I've put it down to the coldest temperature, and it's put the air con on automatically blowing on my feet so we'll change that let's blow it onto my face and see if oh it works it's freezing cold you can tell on your fingertips straight away aircon usually goes between about three and six degrees if it's working you can feel it on your fingertips straight away it's real cold even when it's out even when it's cold outside i mean it's about nine ten degrees outside today you would feel the difference between ambient cold temperature and aircon you can tell it's working straight away so i'm going to turn it off save my fuel consumption because i'm not exactly boiling at the moment so that works nicely so we, we are sitting out because it's a six speed that's nice if you um if you, any of you guys saw that cheaper focus that i sold 
that was, it was struggling for a sixth gear, you know, it's that ZTEC engine, even a two litre ZTEC, they, 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 they just rev a little bit high. Now, admittedly, I'm only doing 60, but I'm doing like 2300 revs at the moment. Um, hold on. Let me get out and let, let's get to 70 and see what we're doing there. So at 70, we're doing 2700 revs at 70. Now, Focus was doing like just over 3000, so it was... But this just just that sixth gear it doesn't feel like it needs another gear it feels a lot comfier sitting at 70 mile an hour i mean i'm talking to you guys perfectly happily the vision is good it's comfortable the tires are the tires are quiet it's got michelin cross climates on it they're never going to be loud they're a good tire they are um it's, it's a nice place to be in here it's got isofix anchor points in the back it's a good family car, you know, with this miles on, it will it will treat someone really well. It's quiet, it's no vibrations, brakes don't judder, so it's got no warp discs or anything like that. I mean, I paid good money for this car, plus the 400 pound fees on top of it. If these scratches don't come out, and I have to get this thing painted to make it look nice, I'm at a loss straight away, so, Let's hope I can make the outside of this car as nice as what it drives, but it's all right. Mechanically, from what I can tell, other than that little milk float noise, which we'll have to look into, because I think it might be a noisy, a noisy alternator, I think, we're, I think we're doing all right. You can't hear it now, so you can only really hear it. You can't hear it. So you can only hear it on idle. So um, hopefully that should that should just be the alternator or the idler or um, hopefully not the aircon compressor because that starts getting a little bit expensive. But um, I'll take the belt off when we get back. But all I want to do now, before I even clean it, is see if their marks come out. That's all I want to do. Because other than that, I already think this is a really nice car as far as cash cars go. You know what I mean. So... Um, We'll get home, that caddy's quite cool, I love a caddy. So we'll get home, just park this up, uh, get the Scirocco out of the garage, because that's been in there last night so it didn't get dirty. Um, I'll show someone around the Scirocco, and then we will get back onto this, just to see if their marks are gonna come out, you know, just to, to see whether they're gonna come out. So, uh, drive's nice, I'm happy with it so far. See you in a bit. Hi, boy. So we're back home, just done the demo on the Scirocco, the Scirocco sold, little girlie's bought that for her car, uh, she's absolutely over the moon with it, the guy that turned up with her, her boyfriend, it's like a 22 year old lad, got a 440i, absolutely modified up to the hill, looked mega, now it's, it's he was a he was a cool lad, 22 years old. Only got insurance for two grand on that car, which was balmy. I will put a couple of stills up of his car. Hopefully, I'll get that on the channel when he comes back to pick up the Scirocco. Cool car. But now we've got to get back on with the cash Kai because we've got to do the uh, we've got to get onto the scratches to see if they're going to come out. Little Alfie's helping me. Um, let's see what's going to happen. So I'm going to have to cut that one off there, um, otherwise it's going to be going on for a while. I mean, you can see I've got quite a lot of quite a lot of prep to do on that cash kai. So that was the first time that I've taken you guys to auction. I'm trying to do it so almost like you're there with me. That's the plan. I, I want you guys. I mean, some of you guys might have never even been to a car auction. I want you guys to see what it's like to go to a car auction. Because if you, if you think about what we actually do, it's pretty stupid, really. We go to a, the first time I ever went to a car auction, you know, I know you can go to a car dealership and buy any car, but you think about it. You can go to a car auction, and in one auction, there's four or 500 cars, and you can buy any of them. You can buy any of them. It's balmy. But when you actually think about it, we all go to a car auction, and we buy cars that we haven't driven, 
we don't know anything about really you know a bit about the history and stuff you can do some inspections but you don't really do anything know anything about it and we buy them anyway and then you drive them, and i tell you what it's addictive and i can't explain why because it makes no real sense especially financial sense until you've actually got in that car and you know everything's okay but until that moment you don't know what you're buying and yet it never gets old i can't explain it. it's really weird but um so that was the th i know it was a bit rushed it really was rushed if it looked rushed on camera then it was rushed um but i didn't have any time to do it any other way so how was that i mean this uh let me know if if that's the sort of thing that you guys want to see and we'll do some more of it um but for now i'm gonna have to shut this one off the next one will be prepping the cash kai but i've got another update for you mm, it's a bit you'll see um look out for the next one Thanks for watching. Subscribe if it's any good. Uh, let me know. I'll see you soon.